Hi everyone. We're here uh, at Slutwalk at the preparation for it um, at the Melbourne State Library and we've got some fantastic people over here making lots of signs uh, to protest and to get up there and show everybody uh, what, um, what we're doing and what we mean by no means no. Um, we might have a little bit of a chat to some people and see what they're up to um, and then we'll join uh, everybody outside. So yeah, come with me. So I'm standing here with Karen. Uh, Karen is one of the organisers of the Melbourne Slut Walk uh, and it's really exciting to meet her. Tell me, what's been the process leading up to the march today? Well, um, we've been incredibly busy and lucky to have so many people helping out. Uh, we've got an organising committee of about seven or eight, and it's, but it kind of activates out to bigger, you know, when, when we need stuff done. Um, and so we've been meeting, you know, a couple of times a week and making sure that everyone's got you know their specific tasks and it's pretty military precision actually yeah right now we're making signs so. yeah look there's some great signs coming along like where do you get the inspiration for the for the words and the slogans and the signs like that to be honest we ripped a lot of them off oh, um <laughs> yeah so we, we looked up you know the best slut walk signs from around the world um so we thought you know it's a global movement and um, people, you know, have already come up with such amazing, hilarious, funny ones. Um, we're trying to have a bit of local flavour, so we've got Destroy the Joint, obviously. Yes. Uh, <laughs> shrill, Thanks, aggressive Alan. woman, uh, that kind of thing. Um, last year we had one that said, hey, spider, I really like a cup of Milo. So um, we do try and personalise it with that kind of Australian <laughs> oh, <that's good>. touch. <laughs> but some of the most amazing ones are from, you know, Boston and New York, and we've just, yeah, we're just... Here yeah, with it. our beautiful friend, Viola who you have met before. Uh, she's here to take part in Slut Walk. And so I suppose my first question to you is, what does the word slut mean to you? Just a woman who likes to have a good time with sex and just open and honest about sexuality and life, really. And do you think it's a bad thing? Absolutely not. I mean, sex is such a huge part of everyone's life. So regardless of what your religious views, your cultural views are, sex makes the world go round. And so why have you come out today to Slut Walk? Because I don't think we should be ashamed of liking to have sex. I mean, just because we're women doesn't mean that we can't enjoy it too. Sex isn't just for making babies. That is absolutely right. <laughs> it's for making lots of things, lots of fun. Okay, well, thank you so much, Viola, and we'll see you in the march. Alrighty, see you. Hi. Hey, how are so you? So I'm standing here with my good friend Chris from the Australian Sex Party, which Hello. is my favourite political group in the world. Uh, one that I do a lot of work for, uh, and they're here standing out today to say that uh, rape means no means no, and that rape is never an excuse. Uh, tell me, Chris, what does the word slut mean to you? The word slut, the word slut, isn't it a lovely word? I mean, it has so many connotations to so many people, and so many people take it negatively. But slut, it, look, if I was a male slut, I'd be celebrated as a stud. <laughs> so. I've always really, really disliked that hypocrisy of the word slut versus stud, but now women are reclaiming it, women are embracing it, so for the most part I think let's celebrate it, let's let women celebrate their sexuality, so if they want to be called a slut, if they want to embrace that, by all means, no means no, rape is rape, whatever, whatever a woman wears is not an excuse. Thank you so much, Chris. We love you. No worries. What does the word slut mean to you? It means being a fabulous bitch and not caring what people think of you. Fantastic. That's what I think too. How about you? What do you think of the word yeah, slut? I think it's often used as a word like shame when you're having sex. So I think it's really totally empowerment. Like, you're not ashamed to express it. And tell me, why are you in my team today? And tell me why are you here today? Um, I just feel like as a male, I get I don't have to deal with any of this shit like like that women have to deal with. And it gets me so angry because I've had some experiences where I've had to deal with, you know, people I really care about being like, you know, assaulted and stuff. And I just it makes me so angry. So I'm just here to support everyone because I think it's a really important cause.
Absolutely, I agree with that. I think everybody should come out and support women's rights and the women's rights to wear what they want when they want. Um, Sarah and Fiona from the Australian Sex Party. Fiona is the illustrious leader and does fantastic things for civil rights in Australia. Uh, so I suppose my first question to you, Fiona, is what, what does the word slut mean to you? Well, these days it means something really good to me. Like it means someone who is comfortable with their sexuality, comfortable with being sexy, and is not afraid of sex, which unfortunately is a disease that spreads through most politicians, their fear of sex. Yes, absolutely, and we see this every day in the news Indeed. and in, in legislation. Uh, now, Sarah, how about you? Why did you come out to lunch today? Um, I came out today because uh, personally I've never been raped, but I have been in my life put in a lot of situa situations that I wasn't necessarily particularly comfortable and I'm a big promoter of the idea that we need to stop teaching people to say no, we need to start teaching people to ask for a yes first and I think it's really important that um, that everybody understands that there's absolutely nothing a woman can wear and nothing a woman can do that is inviting um, a sexual assault or a rape. And I could walk down the middle of the street naked right now and I'm still not asking to be raped. So I think it's really important to um, uh, to get the message out there to the few people in our society who are falling behind. <laughs> and we're here today standing shoulder to shoulder with survivors and allies to tell the truth. The truth is that most people will know the person that rapes them. The truth is we should be just as outraged by the rape of a 25 year old as we are by the rape of an 85 year old. And the truth is that rapes will not stop happening until people stop committing them. marching through the streets of Melbourne down the excellent Swanson Street. We have the fantastic Australian Sex Party crew behind us uh, making their voices heard and saying no is no. Uh, we're going to be convening down in the Treasury Garden soon and we'll get some more interviews with people. And there's quite a diversity of people, isn't there? There is. There's so many different people. We've got uh, men, women and children. We've got people in outfits. We've got people just walking in their normal gear. We've got some fantastic posters and slogans. And we've also had heard some really interesting speeches from some really fantastic people. So it's been really good. Uh, it's a great turnout. The people on the side of the street are supporting us. And it's been really good. So, yeah. Go Slut Walk!
here with my buddy Christian Vega, who is a fantastic <laughs> person and speaker. He is a male sex worker here in Melbourne. Uh, he's also, as you see, an Asian male sex worker. So we've got quite a bit of a minority here, as if, <laughs> you say. And as he does say, he's not a trafficked sex worker because, as we know, sex work is a choice. Yeah. And so many women and men choose the profession. So anyway, what I've got to ask you, Christian, why did you come out here today? Well. Slut walks are really, really dear cause that's close to a lot of sex workers and um, the, the term slut shaming is something I think um, sex workers have identified with for a really long time. We use different words, we use words like whorephobia or putaphobia in other parts of the world. Um, but it's the same thing, it's saying that you know um, we are um, victims of violence and it's our fault because of who we are, what we do, how we dress, what we look like. Um, and those, those stereotypes and images are just as unhelpful as people saying, you know, somebody deserves to be raped because of what they wear. Um, and, and it is the same thing. So um, that's why my sign kind of says, I'm an Asian sex worker, not a traffic sex slave. Because this, um, the stereotype of um, someone or the stereotype of sex workers not being able to choose to do sex work is just it's the same thing as saying nobody has the ability to consent and mm. it's, it's the same thing yeah look it's been such a great day today we've had so many people out so many sex workers which is fantastic to, to see you know all these fantastic Beautiful. men and women who have made the choice to have sex as a living and they can stand up proud and and say that and I, I think that's a fantastic thing yeah thank you Christian I mean, why did you come out today? Uh, just because I think it's a really important issue. Um, I guess for me, I do a sport called competitive cheerleading and it's really gymnastics and acrobatics and things like that, but it's not taken very seriously because people just think cheerleaders are sluts, which are not. <laughs> that's just a really interesting thing, actually, because we've been talking to sex workers and we've been talking to, you know, people who... Um, believe that, you know, obviously, as we've been saying, no means no, and there's uh, no such thing as, you know, asking for rape, uh, but we haven't really looked at other things like cheerleaders or, you know, your fantasy football league girls or roller derby girls or, you know, these women that put themselves out there um, and are degraded for what they do because of, you know, some preconceived notion. Yeah. So what does, what does the word slut mean to you? Do you take it as a positive or a negative? Well, I, I think it's really interesting with this whole movement, it's kind of given a different spin on the word and I, I think it's kind of interesting looking at, at it now as a positive word, but obviously for a very long time it's just been used as a negative word and it's just got so much negative connotations and <laughs> getting yelled that word yeah. in the street is just not fun. <laughs> have, you, have you had that happen to you? Oh yeah, you know, you go out, you go out on a Saturday night. I used to live in a small town in northern New South Wales, so it happens. you got to kind of brush it off. Yeah, you do, yeah. you do. But it's also not acceptable. You, no, no. You need to um, yeah, really stand true. up and, and say that this is not a derogatory word and it's... Um, it's our right to be sluts if we want to be. Yeah, and, and it would be nice if people didn't yell it anymore and, uh, and didn't say it in a negative way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much well, for your time. No problem. Have a great Thank day. You. Enjoy slut walk. Bye. Thanks. He's a red-blooded heterosexual male who has Correct. come out here to slut walk. Tell me, why did you come out today? To show my uh, support with the, uh, oh. the cause of the pointing out there is no fucking excuse for what goes on. You know, there's clothes, fucking drunk, whatever, nothing, nothing excuses, rape, and it's an awful, awful thing, and so many people in my life have been affected by it, and it just makes me sick to the stomach that, that people still apologise for this in this day and age, and, I mean, what in the, I don't, I just don't understand, I, and that's why I come along to these sorts of things, I, I said to some mates last time, going, listen, what are you wanting to that for, and I sat them down, and I talked them through the facts and they went, oh, I didn't see that one. Did, they, did you convince them to come out? No, they're all still asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel this is a very important issue that, you know, you need to be able to feel safe walking down that fucking lane at four o'clock on a Sunday morning as I do. It, it's, you know, it's, we aren't fucking animals. No, that's right, we're not. Uh, we, we should be able to, stop to acting like I, saw, I saw a bloke walking around before with a, uh, I can control myself. <laughs> we should all be able to. Sorry for the profanities, but um, I feel very strongly about this and I come along today and I know you were going to hear it, my friend Anito, who you know, 
we just marched up together and yeah, it's it's been really great today. Fantastic. Well, thank you for showing your support you. and coming out. Thank and you. Um, thank you. Slut to me pretty much means nothing. It, it isn't a word. Like, people use it to describe people in a derogatory term. And it's not even a word. Really, like, who uses the word slut to describe somebody? It's nasty not, people. Yeah, it's not, it's not nice to be called a slut, that's for sure, because you know people are doing it in a derogatory term. But it's not even a word anymore. Like, you do, you, just... do you think it's important that we, um, we reclaim the word? Oh, definitely. It's definitely important that we reclaim the word as something that's not derogatory at all um, and something that gives us power, something that we can go out and say, yeah, you know what, you might think that about me, but I believe that I'm this sort of person and you don't deserve to rape me just because you think I'm a slut. It is utterly ridiculous that we live in a society where this kind of backwards thinking is not only tolerated, but it's still perpetuated. And uh, no one would say to the victim of a robbery, well, it was your fault for having that, so clearly you deserve, you kind of bought it on yourself by owning that or having that much money. Um, it is absolutely unthinkable that, um, that this kind of thinking um, is applied in these contexts. We need to be, if we want to really deal with um, not being rape on the head. We need to reduce the number of rapists that there are. Blaming the victims is not going to minimise the number of rapists there are because rapists are going to rape no matter what. No matter what the victims are wearing, no matter what the motivation to rape is, they're going to carry on doing it unless we actually start addressing rapists themselves, not the people who they target. Absolutely. Um, and I need to tell me, what does the word slut mean to you? Oh, oh, oh. It means a lot of things um, to me. To me, like whether it's meant, if someone says slut to me, whether it's meant as an oh, actual derogatory yeah. comment or just a flip of a mark, that's an insulting. It's an insulting remark, you know, suggesting that I have nothing better to do than to have my legs spread and just letting it not happen. Letting it happen. Right? It's like, yeah, that's what you do. And so what do you feel about this reclaiming of the word? It's, it's a hard one. I, I'm not too sure if my to reclaim the word has historically always had such a bad connotation. How about when you think about it in the terms of, say, the N-word, which I'm not going to say because I'm not African-American and I don't think that yeah. I should use that word, but what, what, you know, when you look about words that have negative connotations that have been reclaimed yeah. by the people who the word has been used to offend, what, yeah. what do you think about that? Um, I guess it happens over time. It does. Like, but you're right. It does happen over time. And I guess for me, it's not. I'm not ready for that to be used in a in a way that I can take it as something a bit positive. I think it still has that. Edge. And also, I think with um, particularly when you reclaim those terms, there is still a taboo in using them because, as you said, only a certain number of people yes. are allowed to use. Them. So is that really reclamation? Is that really a positive step forward? I'm, I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just putting forward the question because it's no, something I that I would a, like to know as well. But yeah. particularly, you know, the word "slut" when it's applied um, in its usual context, whether as you said, whether it's you know a forceful insult or it's just something that it's dehumanising. And that is what we're here about today because um, the act of rape is all about dehumanisation because rapists do not see their victims as a human being. It's all about power trip and it's certainly it's certainly not an act of sex, it's an act of violence, it's an act of power. And you know, the sexual payoff, I assume, comes from the power trip. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not about sex, it's about power and it's about dehumanising the victim. It, at no point is the victim of rape seen as human and certainly if we're going to carry on blaming the victims of rape for what happens to them, that is further dehumanisation and we need as a society if we're going to move forwards and if we're going to become more enlightened and more about social justice, we need to move forward on this issue. Absolutely, I completely agree. And thank you so much for chatting to us and have a great afternoon. Enjoy Slut Walk. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was our experience with uh, Slut Walk in Melbourne 2012. It was fantastic, wasn't it? It was. It was a great, uh, big crowd, uh, a nice diversity in the crowd. Um, shows that's a cause that a lot of people care a lot about. Yeah, it really does. And it just shows that, um, 
you know, so many people really do um, agree with the phrase, you know, no means no. Yeah, you know, it, it almost seems insane to have to do that, to actually have a rally to highlight the fact Rape's bad, okay? Yeah, he, he really is a little bit, you know, it wouldn't have been nice to live <clears> in a world where we didn't have to, you know, stand up uh, as a group and say that this is something that needs to be changed. Because, yeah. you know, really, you know, in an ideal world, this wouldn't even be an issue. Uh, but, but clearly, it, was, it, it was, is. It is, yeah. and, and it's great to see so many people showing their support. So mm. when it comes to your town or your city, uh, go out and march and, and get in there and, and show, your, show your strength and, and yeah. show your... Like, have your voice heard. Yeah, join with other people, get out there, show your support, get your voice heard, uh, and, you know, we can all move towards that slightly happier world where it's slightly less of an issue. Yes. Um, and, yeah, uh, so until next time, uh, we'll see you later. See you. Bye.